Hello, 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 my dear student. In this lesson, we will cover lesson 6-6, six, six, which is about conditions of special parallelogram. The essential question of this lesson is which properties of the diagonals of parallelogram help you classify a parallelogram? After we are done with this lesson, you will be able to identify rhombuses, rectangles, and squares by the characteristics of their diagonals. Let's go through the lesson a little uh, bit. We start by solving example one, in which we will use the diagonals to identify rhombuses. In the previous lesson, we have said that the rhombuses have a perpendicular bisector diagonal. So diagonals are perpendicular and they bisect each other. So if I knew, if I could prove that the two diagonals are perpendicular to each other and these two distances are congruent, I can say that this is a rhombus. We will solve it in details in our classes. And then we have the converse of the theorem. If the diagonals of a parallelogram are perpendicular, then the parallelogram is a rhombus. Now, if the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect two angles of the parallelogram, then the parallelogram is a rhombus. So once we'll use the diagonals and then we'll use the angle bisector. And then we will learn how to find uh, the proof, how to write a proof of the parallelogram diagonal bisector theorem. How to prove that the diagonals are perpendicular and bisectors and that in the conclusion we we'll say that this is a rhombus. Let's see another example. We will use the diagonals to identify a rectangle. So in the previous lesson, we took the rectangle uh, diagonals here. We will use the diagonal to prove that the figure is a rectangle. And the converse of the theorem, if the diagonals of a parallelogram are congruent, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. Now, we will identify special parallelogram in this uh, part of the lesson. Like this example, can you conclude whether a parallelogram a rhombus is a, a, a rhombus or a square or a rectangle? So again, we're using SAS. I advise you to go back to when we took these lessons about triangle congruence, just remind yourself with them so you can easily move on in this lesson. Quadrilateral STUV is a rhombus. What are the values of X and Y? So by knowing that this is a rhombus and we agreed by now that the rhombus has a diagonals bisecting the angles. So we'll say we'll set them congruent to each other. And then we'll solve each value, one for x and one for y. Next, we will apply properties of special parallelogram. Then at the end, we have the concept summary, conditions for special parallelogram, for the rhombus, for the rectangle, and for the square. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. If you have any question, any inquiry, don't hesitate to come to my office. I'll gladly answer your questions. And I hope that till now everything is going smooth with you and you're understanding everything. Have a good day, everybody.